Hey, this is Pastor Rick. I'm glad you joined me again. I uh, want to talk to you a little bit about uh, the family of God. You know, there was a time in my life where my personal life was not where it needed to be. Although I was very successful in business, there was something really missing in my life. And uh, I found out later that that big gap that was in my heart was Jesus Christ. I needed Him in my life. But here's a benefit that I received out of becoming a Christian. Whereas before I didn't really have a family that I could trust entirely, <laughs> not much, when I became a Christian, I got adopted into the family of God. God adopted me. I wouldn't trade the family of God for anything in this world. I am so grateful that I have been adopted into this family. I have brothers and sisters. I have a Father in Heaven who I can very much trust. He's always perfect. And when I go through troubles in this life like all of us do from time to time, I am extremely glad that I have people, real people, that I can go to to pray with them, to uh, encourage them when they're down or when I'm down they encourage me. Yesterday I got a text message. It was an amazing text message. It just basically said that all my efforts in the ministry weren't in vain, that I had actually, every time they were discouraged, they could hear me saying, always look up. And I thought, amazing, that they were encouraged by something I said. And uh, they said, you know, whenever I look up to God, I think of you. And I want you to know, I sent them a text back and I said, you know, you sent that to me just when I really needed to be encouraged myself. You see, I have a family. It's my brothers and sisters in the family of God. Are you a Christian? If you're a Christian, then you understand what I'm talking about. If you're not a Christian, and or if maybe you've been away from church for a while, like a lot of people have, they dropped out of church, I want you to know we really need you, and you really need us. We need each other. We need to hang together. We're a family. You know, families sometimes break up, and they really should not. Families need to hold together, and if families will hold together, we can get through the tough things and things that maybe we said that we shouldn't have said, or things we did and shouldn't have done or things that we forgot to do and we need to forgive each other and get back together and fellowship with one another. As I said, we really need each other and I'm so glad I'm a member of this family. There's a words to a song that Bill and Gloria Gaither wrote. It's called The Family of God. It says, I'm so glad I'm a part of the family of God. And it says, I've been washed in the fountain, cleansed by his blood. Joint heirs with Jesus as we travel this sod, for I'm part of the family, the family of God. But this is the part I like. It says, you will notice we say brother and sister around here. It's because we're a family and these folks are so near. When one has a heartache, we all share the tears and rejoice in each victory in this family so dear. I wanted you to do something. I want to encourage you to come and check out the family, the local family that I belong to, First Southern Baptist Church here in Hammett. It is a wonderful group of people. They love one another. They will accept you if you come here. You won't get away without being greeted and welcomed, and we will be glad to see you. I don't care who you are or what your needs are. We'll be glad to see you, and uh, you're going to leave and say, you know what? Maybe I need to be part of the family of God or that family, that local church family, because we need you and you need us, and through it we can get through this, okay? God bless you. I hope you're having a wonderful day today. Bye.